You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mike Benny and Rowe and Lee Robertson. Scrolling through Fridays on Grinder, and then I saw, oh, come as a pig. Oh, hello. Welcome to Chewing the Cud. You're watching a Halloween special with your spooky look at the world through a very cobwebby rainbow lens. I'm Mike Benny and Rowe, and with me today is Lee, who's dressed as a what exactly? I'm going for monochromatic, Piero, sexy realness. It looks like the left hand side of your face has been invited to a book, okay. Um, but what have you got for us this week? Ah, this week I have some spooky celebrity stories about spooky houses, spooky goings on, spooky films. It's Halloween, so. So it might be spooky. And then we're going to play a murderous game. Oh. Um, with knives. With knives? No. Never mind. Um, well, that's before we use glitter as a divination in Crafty Queens. But on screen now you can see our contact details. It's at the Cud TV on your social media. And if you want to catch up with previous episodes, you can always binge us on YouTube just by looking for Chewing the Cud. You can see the names of people who have reached out and touched our ghouls and ghoulies going, going across the bottom of the screen. And now it's time to get up to date on the things that Mike's found on his Ouija board in the bus. <laughs> So it turned out the Ouija board was just lying a and powder. Now what? Yeah. Um, I'm going to leech into your your world a little bit. Leech. Leech into your world a little bit. Okay. Um, Stacey Solomon. Mm. Mm. Not a fan? Not hugely. No. Has she She's not done anything to particularly irritate me. Just her breathing. That doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> the fact she exists is enough, is it? It's all that. I've got 57 children. Look at my house. Got six. Six kids. Be, might as well be 57. Same thing. One to 60. It's all the same number. Um, she has divided the internet and her household. Oh. Well, it's a good time to put Halloween decorations up. I usually mm. go kind of sort of mid-September because I don't... I, I look at it as spooky season rather than uh -huh. just one day. Okay. Uh, well, Stacey Solomon uh, and her husband, Joe Swash have taken to social media to have a rant at each other about how soon she puts them up, because she starts in August. Really? It's mm. a bit too much. Too soon. Yeah. So soon, soon. Beginning of September, she starts putting them up. That's fine. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's divided everybody, because they're going, well, is it too early? Joe Rush has said, you've got to pick the decorations or me. Oh. Right, a bit of an ultimatum there. Um, but things were took a bit of a turn as people realised that all of these arguments that they were having on social media were like posted with ad and George Asda home. Oh. So it started to think that it's maybe... It's a deal. It's a whole advertising, advertising that everything deal. that she's decorated the house with is oh, available. At shocking that celebrities could be so deceitful. I, well, not even deceitful. <laughs> Just, Just tricks. say... I buy this from this place. They've given me a shed to the decorations for my house. Put it on else. my... Gooch. <laughs> <laughs> Put it on my... Mantle Vagina. <laughs> yeah. Look at that face. Is she, is she sad there? I, I don't, she don't know. Oh, God, guys, I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Um, uh, <laughs> does, do we have any pictures of what sh they've decorated their house? I've, I've not put pictures up. Oh. Because it's all advertising as the... And they don't give me any money. No. So, you know, if they, do you want to see what they have on there? Go and have a look at her social media, get her the money. Mm. But yeah, until I get money, I'm not putting her pictures up. Okay. Because I'm not that, that person. How, how much do you spend on your Halloween decorations? Oh. Do you know what? Not, a, not as much anymore because I have a vast collection. Oh, uh, but a lot of them are faulty. Mm, some break, some I mean, chewed. We have a one-legged skeleton. Oh, it's ruined the illusion. There was no illusion here. Outrageous. Um, I mean, you didn't buy it like that, obviously. Obviously. Um, I've evolved from last year, so uh -huh. whatever. Um, it depends. If I see something I like, then I'll, I don't tend to go over £20. Per item. If it's or in tall. No, not in tall. In, uh, tall. <laughs> if I like, really like something, uh -huh. I'll go, oh, I'll have that. Um, 
So yeah. Is okay. that helpful? Not really, no. Yeah. Um let's move on to to another shopping type thing. Mm-hmm. People have what is basically going to be put down as lost their shit about Primark this Halloween spooky season. Oh. Okay. Purely because every year they, they do a, a bit of a theme. Mm. Right? And at the beginning of the year, everyone thought it was going to be Beetlejuice theme because that new movie's come out that you've told us about repeatedly. Um, the, the, you know, the new Beetlejuice. Uh, but no, they have gone one better than that as they have brought back lots and lots and lots of stuff about Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, oh! What is that? Halloween or yeah, is that Halloween. Christmas? It's them getting ready for Halloween and going. Oh, should we still Christmas as well? Halloween. <laughs> yeah, this is Halloween. This is Halloween. Are the lyrics. So Halloween. Clearly about Halloween. Oh, Halloween. Okay, nice. Um, <laughs> all the actual lyrics of the song. Uh, yeah, people got very excited about Pumpkin Jack related. Oh, okay. Things on sale. If it's from Primark, it's going to be a bit shite anyway, isn't it? I mean, it's only for Halloween, though. You're not going to wear it every day of the year. You might, actually. To be fair. I I think... I paid four that... pounds for these socks I'm wearing. Them. It's only got all <laughs> I, had a, I had a very, very rarely go into Primark. Um, I think sustainability is um, key. And um, that is why a lot of my beautiful objects are, are timeless. Because they are 100% plastic and will not biodegrade ever. No. no, I thought you said that the, you need this slave labour because the kids get the ones with little stitches. Anyway, mm. and if likely you love the feeling of the soft, supple fur polyester, uh, um, why not share that with us at the Cut TV on social media? And that brings us nicely to our story of the week. Now, you have crafted that outfit yourself, haven't you? I haven't crafted it. I've assembled it from a number of different sources. Uh huh. So, mm. like this lovely viscose top that you've got on. That is that is from Dumo. Oh, that's a surprise. Mm, yeah. uh-huh. And then the, the brooch. I've had that many years. Oh, this one. Oh, this. It's my grandmother's bones. Uh huh. I thought that it was. Very small lady. <laughs> she was. She was a yeah. dwarf, but don't, you know, it's, stop it. Um, I didn't do anything. When she... I wasn't the one throwing her at a f- bat target at your birthday party. When she, when she passed on, she said, do what you want. Do you what you want with my body? It was made like a like a Mindy Gaga cover. And um, <laughs> do what you want with my body. Yeah, do what you yeah. want with my body. And uh, so I just chopped a hand off and turned okay. it into a lovely brooch. Uh huh. Yeah, just a brooch. But yeah. Um, have you heard about Party City before? Is that an American it's thing? An American thing where they sell lots of costumes and things mm. for parties because they're very into their dressing up. Halloween, they like, don't Not they? Not even just Halloween, like fancy dress parties. There's, there's a lot more going out and, and dressing up. Um, well. Party City got in a bit of trouble. Why, Mike? They were selling an outfit as a Confederate soldier. Okay. Which is very racist because of the Confederate flag, which is a sign of racism. Okay. Um, so a mum went in to buy a, an outfit for her a child. Mm-hmm. I went, oh, no. This is oh, good. No. Oh, no. Oh, um, no. Because Confederate, Confederate flag is a massive racist symbol. Mm-hmm. Um, and so she said, going, we need this to be removed. So she did what all responsible parents did at that point. She set got, fire to the store. She got set fire to the store, <laughs> yeah. Um, no, she t- set fire to the rain and t- watched it burn as they touched her oh, face. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, no, she raised a complaint with the head office. Who turned around and went, this isn't us. We don't like racism. This is a franchisee. Franchisee? Franchisee. So, you know, franchise out the, yeah. the head. Um, and so they've asked the franchisee to remove it. Okay, um, and they said that they would, which is good, but obviously after causing offence. And this is just after um, Target in the states have got in other trouble, okay, for selling, shall we say, World War Two style clothes for fancy dress? Oh, okay. Mm. Maybe a black oh. number, yeah, and a dress that some people said, oh, that's like what Anne Frank would wear. Oh, from the Anne Frank Halloween collection. Uh-huh, yeah. Nice. Next to the, the German black uniform. Mm. It's not rocket science, is it? It's not doing anything. It's like in a history book. I think that's the problem. I think they looked in the history book and went, yeah, that, that's, that's a, appropriate for the age. Mm. Yeah. I mean, my mum used to dress me up as Genghis Khan every Halloween, and there was no problems there. But is that just because she used to wrap you in fur and feed you to the wolves? Yeah. Go on, be free. Be free, my child. What's wrong with a bin bag? 
It's not very environmentally friendly, that, is it? And if you want the child to live, you cut a hole in the top of the head. <laughs> Just a sheet. No. No, not a sheet. Not a sheet. We don't, no, I can't expensive. do that, no. No, oh. because it's all on the same Yeah, <laughs> Just walk around a white sheet. Yeah, no, 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 no. Just dress like a pig. So what did they actually put on there that come, come as a pig? Where are your pig nipples? Sorry? Your pig teats. Where are my pig nipples? Because pigs have, like, lots of nipples. Okay. You should have put nipples going down the outside of your T-shirt. Sorry, are you giving me a critique on my outfit? I'm just saying. You're like someone's come over your left eye and you're giving me critique about the outfit. <laughs> just trying to help. Uh -huh. That grinder hook up for you. I've got plenty on. Yeah, and who doesn't love a good porking? Uh, but that's all from the buzz this week. Thanks, Mike. Hey, you're welcome, Lee. Stay right there. It's <laughs> coming after this short break. Lee gets his brains out in celebrity news and showbiz. We just invited a load of people to a bukkake party. You should have seen the look on her face. Welcome back. You're watching Chewing the Cud, and this is the part of the show where we look into the creepy side of celebrity and the world of media in showbiz with Lee. Celebrities. Mm -hmm. They're not adverse to being haunted. Not adverse? Like us people, like the regular people. The ghosts, they, very, don't, uh, they don't, they don't exist. differentiate between the rich and the poor. They don't exist, that's why. They do. So I'm going to talk to you about some, some celebrities who have haunted houses. Okay. Mm -hmm. Octavia Spencer, the actress. Who? Octavia Spencer, she was in Ma, Aye. Shape of Water, Aye. The Help, Oscar winner. Okay. No? Okay. Anyway... Um, yeah, let's have a picture of her on the screen. There he is. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, mm. yeah. um, she has a ghost that resides in her Toluca Lake, California That's residence. Inside of a then. What? <laughs> I thought you were about to say inside of a Inside of her quim? Yeah, but with a T. <laughs> I was like, That's a bit extreme. No, it's, it's I haven't got a haunted no. Ooh. <laughs> but she has she's on good terms with this ghost um because she said she said we've got boundaries mm -hmm. um no felching after midnight <laughs> no ghost sex um she says that it, well, not it, no ghost sex surely just at a reasonable hour um she says it's protective more than um aggressive okay so it sorts out the bad people that shouldn't be there and um, I don't know how it sorts them out. I don't know. Go sex. <laughs> um, <laughs> and it's the only... It's, it's the, the supernatural entity only takes issue when she's away for a long time. And when she comes back, it's, she's not very happy. The ghost's not very happy. Okay. Um, so she says, the door's closed, the lights go off when I've turned them on. Has she got a teenager in the house? No. Just thinking. No, no it's a ghost. Okay. Okay. Next up, we have Alison Hannigan, who is famous for being in Buffy uh -huh. and American Pie. Instruments are fun. And um, that one that was on for ages and ages and ages about our, our mottied your mother or something like that. I can't remember what it was anyway. Um, I mottied your mother? What was it called? How I Met Your Mother. What's in that? How I Met oh, Your yeah, Father. Sure, yeah. How I Met Your Mother. How I Met Your Mother, yeah. yeah. Anyway, she says that her Los Angeles home, which she says, look at that, isn't it gorgeous, that house? She's got money, hasn't she? Mm. Uh, she says with her husband, Alexis Denoff, as a very friendly ghost. Uh-huh. But she said, I'd love to get his name. So she obviously she's gendered it. Um, I'm thinking of putting a little chalkboard out to see if um, he'll write his name down. Because that is the recommended way to find out the names of your ghosts. To put, put a little chalkboard out. Some nice chalks. Um, I hope they haven't got asthma. Chalks very dusty. It could kill them. Oh, well, he's already dead. So mega death. Mm. I wonder what it would be called. What mega death? No, if it, like a ghost. It'd be boring if it was just like Brian. Brian. Mm. Um, lastly, we've got Courtney Cox. Okay. And um, she has experienced a supernatural presence firsthand. She's talking to it there, sat in the chair, but we can't see it. No, because only it she can. Uh -huh. um, and she... this isn't mental illness, everybody. <laughs> this is sort of ghost. Her Laurel Canyon abode. Apparently, Carol King, the singer, uh -huh. used to own it and has said that 
it was a, a, a the ghost was there when she was there. Courtney Cox didn't believe it because she wasn't a believer. Um, but she changed her mind when one day somebody came to the house, a delivery driver came to the house to deliver something. Shockingly, a delivery driver. Um, he opened the he opened the door. It was a UPS guy, and he said, "Do you know this house is haunted?" And she goes, "Yeah. Why? Why do you think that?" He goes, "Because there is someone standing behind you." Oh. She sold the house not long after. I couldn't sleep there alone ever again. The UPS driver's all right then, isn't he? It's bullshit. <gasps> don't, just don't, exist. don't don't say that. You don't because... know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. All right, okay. Just keep saying it because that means it's true. Anyway, Prince William. Uh huh. Um, his country pile. Um, Which one? Um, his wife. Um, his is, wife? Is, is haunted. So he does spends... She not got the cancer anymore? She still does. It's just, okay. it's just on its way out. Oh, OK. Yeah. Um, he's, he um, spends short school breaks at Amma Hall. Um, it's a countryside estate 100 miles north of London. They were reportedly informed before they moved in that there was a ghost there. Um, but Prince William wasn't really bothered. He said, we warned him about the ghost. Comment was, and I presume it's from William, with Prince William, he said, no old hall would be complete without a ghost, would it? Okay. Um, the spirit is allegedly a Catholic priest who lived there and was hung, drawn and quartered. Why? For treason. Wow. But what did they do that was treasonous? What did he do that was treasonous? I don't know. Yeah, well. There we go. Spooky. Yeah, spooky. spooky. So that's um, flourishes in their haunted houses. Uh-huh. I'm glad, glad that interested you. Oh, riveted. Ooh, what about what about horror films? Do you like a horror film? I like a horror film. What kind of horror films do you horror like, film. I like a thrilling horror film. Like do, you like, do you like gory horror films? I don't mind gory as long as it's needed. If it's needed? Yeah, yeah. Like Texas Chainsaw Massacre without blood wouldn't really be... Okay. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. What about queer horror films? I'd love a queer horror film. <laughs> I'd love a queer horror well, film. Well, that is a, it Wait, is a no. very, it is a, ja- a genre that has become increasingly more popular. Take your nose off. Take your nose off, little piggy. Um, oh. So, um, I've got three recommendations that you might want to watch okay. over Halloween. First up, are the modern ones, not old films. <laughs> now, as when you, you would have expected. Not old films, um, so, are they going to be from the past 20 years? That's five years. Okay. 2022 is the first one. Okay. Called Swallowed. That's porn. Sold it straight away. It's porn. There we go. Um, so, the synopsis of this is, after a drug run goes bad, two friends must survive a nightmarish ideal of drugs, bugs, and horrific intimacy in this backwoods body horror thriller. Okay. Um, so, yeah, that one of them is going horrific to... Horrific intimacy. Horrific intimacy. Fisting. <laughs> I've watched this film. Is it vesting? I didn't see much horrific intimacy. I saw boners. There's boners. Were they unattractive penises? <laughs> they didn't see the full peen. Ah. So basically what That's happens right. is... That's horrific then. They... <laughs> it's like, oh, see peen, now. <laughs> they're, they're celebrating their last night together before one of them goes off to LA to be a gay porn star. Okay. Um, and they go to um, pick up some drugs, like you do. Um, and it's like a drug run. And um, they have to swallow them. Okay. In packets. And then um, one of them starts getting really poorly. And he excretes one of the packages. That's poop. Um, Which has something moving inside it. And, um, yeah, it's basically... He gets an uncontrollable erection. And... um, It's a teenage boy, then. It's a a creature. Oh, okay. It's like an alien thing in the drugs. Pumping up his penis. Yeah, going up his bum. Bum hole. Bum hole. In bum. Keep saying bum hole. Got into a loop then. He did. Bum hole. Bum hole. Bum hole. Bum hole. Bum holes. Um, So that's quite a dark film. Uh But if you want a little bit of lighter entertainment, we've got The Gay Bed and Breakfast of Terror, which was made in 2007, so it's quite a while ago. So almost 20 years old. 
Yeah. And this is about a religious mother and daughter who host five LGBT couples at the inn, but when the guests go missing, the family's sinister motivation become... Oh, you yawn. Is No. Is that I just not needed, you? I, no, I just needed air. I'm tired, that's all. Don't keep just, going. Need, yeah. just needed air. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's about the g- biggest gay party of the weekend. The weekend? The biggest gay party of the year yeah. over a weekend. So five couples go to this bed and breakfast where they start getting killed one by one. Okay, cool. Um, and it's supposed to be quite amusing. I haven't seen it myself. But, you know, have a look. I'll have a look. Um, Is there much nudity in that one? Um, I don't... It's a fifth, It was an 18, so there might be. Okay. Um, sticking on the theme of, like, going away at the weekend, we've got B&B. Okay. From 2017. This is a dark one as well. So this is about gay Londoners, Mark and Fred, who plan a weekend getaway, but things turn deadly when they seek revenge against a hotel owner who turned them away. So it's kind of like loosely Uh based on that story from a couple of years ago where the gay couple went to bed and breakfast and they got turned away. They just went to the papers. The characters in this go back and kill the person. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Which is a perfectly reasonable thing. Too. Yeah. So they, so they, so another guest arrives and they get asked to to, to leave. So they go to war, um, and um, and just just you know, kill people. Doctor Who. Who's Doctor Who? Paul McGann. Okay. Is that? No, I don't know him. He looked like somebody I knew, but I, I don't know. That's Paul McGann. Yeah. Okay. The longest serving and shorter serving Doctor at the same time. <sighs> Right. Last film, Bit. 2019 vampire film. Um, oh, it's, it's been bitten, surely. It's about a girl who turns into a vampire while spending the summer with her brother. It's very sapphic, very lesbian, and it's apparently very, what do they call it, film noir. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. When if any of out? those tickle your, tickle your rosebuds, then... When did that um, one come out? That one came out in uh, 20, 2019. Ish. You. And that is the end of this week's spooky Halloween Shorbus News. Hmm. Well, thanks, Sally. Always nice to know the definition of horror is not seeing any peen. But don't go anywhere, because coming up, we have a game to play in our game of the week. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud with me, Mike Benyon Rowe, and Emily Robertson. Now it's the time of the show where we play a game, and this week our Halloween game is Name Lee's X. And this one is for Lee, so off you pop. Game of the Week. So this week we've got a selection of film characters that are going to appear behind Lee, and I have to try and explain to him who they are without using their name or the movie they're in. Ooh. Are you ready, Lee? Born ready. Okay, so your first one. Um, if I leaked out all over somebody. You leaked out all over somebody? Yeah, so I'm in a bucket and I leak out all over them. Are you the blob? No, no, so what am I today? If you leak out all over somebody... What am I today? What am I to them? No, what am I today? Today I am dressed as a what? A pig. Okay. So if my, my in bits would fall out on somebody, they'd be covered in what? What's the red stuff inside me? Blood. Okay, so I'm leaking. All that stuff's leaking out over somebody. Yes. Right from a bucket and they're going, ah! Blood. They're covered in blood, yeah. Yes. Pig blood. Pig blood. Yeah, they're not happy about it. No. They get angry. Angry pig blood monster? It's the title character from the film. Okay. Covered in blood, very angry, very upset. Everybody's laughing at her. Oh! Oh no. Oh no! Is it... Is it Carrie from... The film Carrie. It is indeed. It is Carrie getting covered oh, in blood. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Hello. She's got covered in blood. Covered in pig's blood, yeah. So, um, are you ready for the next one? I am. Okay. Um, little dolls. Little dolls. Little dolls. Little dolls. Oh, no, not very nice little dolls. Stabby little dolls. Stabby little dolls. 
also the name of a rug rat. Is it Killer Barbies from Outer Space? No. That's oh. the next one you guessed. Oh, that's a shame. Um, no. Um, boy doll. Girl yeah. doll. Rosie and Jim. Yes, the famous horror film Rosie and Jim, tugging along on the old rag doll. Of course, that was a bit rude. Tugging along on the old tug bob. Tug bob. Tug bob? Why are you talking bob? Who's talking bob? Bob. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Um, oh. Alice. Um, so, the dolls. Okay. You don't want to play with them. I think I might know. Okay, go for it. Is it, is it Chucky and Tiffany from Child's Play? It is indeed Tucky, oh. Chucky and Tiffany from Child's Play. I like them. You, you like them? I like Tiffany. Because she, she thought she was, you were alone now. She's, <laughs> she's, she's a gay icon. She's a gay oh. icon. Mm. Why is she a gay icon? Because she's camp. That's it. And that's it. Okay, iconic. Could and you... she had a... Number one hit with, I think, you're alone now. <laughs> she had a baby in the films that is trans. Okay, cool. Did not know that. But shall we get the next one up? Okay. You and I have done this. You had to shit in a shower and pick it up in a plastic bag or shit into a plastic bag after doing it. Because everybody does it. What is it we did, Lee? That made you poo? Float. Okay, so where's that line from? Float. Not just, not, just, not just us, everybody does it. Everybody floats. Uh-huh. Everybody floats. Sometimes. Sometimes. Sometimes I'm gonna to... go with. <laughs> um... <laughs> when you need to poo, hold on. <laughs> or grab a plastic bag. Tiny happy bum holes. I'm gonna. Ooh. Filling bags. I'm gonna go with um, Pennywise the Clown. It was Pennywise the Clown. From it. From it. Who famously told you that you could float? Yeah, I'll float. Yeah. All right there. I didn't. I, I didn't know what voice I was doing then. Okay, no, neither do we. Um, should we get the next one up? Yeah. Let's see what horrific person we have next. Okay. Um. You know when you're doing like sewing on a sewing machine. I'm aware of that action. Okay. And you have those little metal things holding the fabric together while you sew. Pins. Okay. And you wanted somewhere to store them. Pin cushion. Okay. What if it was above your shoulders? A shoulder pin cushion. No, above your shoulders. Head cushion. No. Oh, it's a pin something. You've got a pin. Pinny. Above your shoulders. Pinny the little wooden doll. What's above your shoulders, Lee? Your head. Heads okay. and shoulders, knees and toes. <laughs> Would it be, by any chance, one of the... I don't know what they're called. Um, the... 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 Uh, dealers. It was one of the... Uh, pinhead. It is Pinhead. Well done. What, what are they called, though? Hellraiser. No, yeah, but they're called, some, they're called something. Pinhead. No, I know he's called Pinhead, but in general, they're called something. Mm -hmm. oh. I was too young to watch the movie when it came out. <laughs> Genuinely true. That's in the remake? No. No remix. No remix. No remix. No. Shall we get the next one up, then? Lob it out and lob it up. Lob it out and lob it up. Okay. So, you've answered your phone. Hello. It said you're gonna die in seven days. You're gonna die in seven days. <laughs> Why did you suddenly go in? Like, I realised that was a bad thing halfway through. Oh, die. I was getting confused with Scream. Do you like scary movies? Okay. Yes, I do. Um, Great. Bye. Climbing in and out of a well. <laughs> Great. Bye. That famous part of the Scream franchise where he goes, "All right, have a good evening." Just thought I'd ask. <laughs> Thanks very much. See you, bye. Bye-bye. Yeah. Uh, take care, bye-bye. Crawling out the TV. 
crawling out of the TV. Mm -hmm. That would be that greasy haired bitch from. Please don't talk about previous prime ministers <laughs> like that. Um, from the ring, mm -hmm. or the ringu, if you are from the original. Country. What was that? Sorry, ringu. Huh? Ringu. 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 Ringu star. So, Heel. <laughs> I'm gonna. I think she's called Tamara. Tamara. It's Samara. Ah, oh, boo! You failed hard there. But it was from the ring, so I'll give you half a point. Oh, knowing what the ring was. Right. Shall we move on to another? Well, it's your show. Whatever you want to do, babes. Okay. Um. My ex. Your ex. My ex. See, that's a multitude of horrors, so I don't know which one to pick. Okay. Um, emotional blackmaily. Don't want to let you leave me. So I'll teach you a lesson with my sledgehammer. Oh, did they snap your knees? Not knees that's yours, or is it ankles? Oh, that would be. She's... You poopy! You poopy dupes! Um, I know it's. Kathy Bates. This is Kathy Bates. Who plays the character. Is it is it Misery something? Misery Chast... No. It's, it's Annie, Annie Wilkes. Wilkes. Yeah, from Misery. Oh. Misery. Not, not Emmerdale Farm. No, no, no. Not Emmerdale Farm. That is a type of Misery, though. Wasn't Annie Wilkes in Emmerdale Farm? Okay. I believe you. If she was back in the back. Well, it's not called Emmerdale Farm. It's not called Emmerdale Farm anymore. It's called Emmerdale. Anyway, next one. Um, let's get the next one up and see where we go with it. Okay. Don't say it three times unbroken. Causes problems. Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Yeah. Beetlejuice. Is it? Why would you say it three times? Because I want... I want Beetlejuice to come. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that like you're seductive? I want Beetlejuice to come. It's come inside me. Oh, no, don't. Cut that bit out. Don't like that. Okay, um, well, that's enough for now. Coming after this short break, we're going to learn something interesting in Crafty Queens. <laughs> Welcome back, and you're still watching Mike and Lee and Chewie in the Cud. And now we've banished him from the dark pit of hell from whence he came, it's Lee in Crafty Queens. You can never banish me. Evil cannot be destroyed that easily. Um, it's Halloween, woo! Oh. Little piggy. We're gonna start, we're gonna do um, a take on the Halloween pumpkin. When I say that, I've just made it up myself. I don't know if it's right. Wait, I haven't even tried it. Don't even know if it's going to work. Making a bowl out of a bowl, then. Making a bowl out of a pepper. That's oh. what we're doing. Um, we're going to do something. It's, if it works, it's be cool. If it doesn't, it's crafty it's, queens. It's still time. Um, yeah, yeah. So you've got you've got you've got a, um, a pepper capsicum. A little pepper. Now, what I would like you to do first uh -huh. is just cut a little bit off the bottom because we want it. We want the peppers to kind of stand up. Oh, mine does it already. I don't need to do that. So I just need to make it a flat bottom. Yeah. If if it doesn't stand up by itself, then make it a little bit flat. Okay. You have given me a very blunt knife. So you're gonna cut the top off, and that's gonna be like a lid. So you don't want it really little. You want it kind of a couple of centimetres. Okay, and so we're taking the top off. I'm going to keep it whole, yeah? Oh, look at him, all fancy chef like. Huh? Ah. That was the sound of. Well, that's what happens at, um, when you do that to peppers, because they contain the souls of the dead. Um, and they just scream when, <laughs> when you cut them in half. So now what you're going to do is there's not a huge amount of gubbins inside a pepper. But we want it empty. So you want the lid empty. Okay. So I've given you a spoon, so just scoop it out. Scoop all the... When you say empty, as in you want it flat? Yeah, as long as it... Just... Okay. Just get all the pips out and stuff. Seeds. Seeds. Pips. It's my first time with a vegetable. 
Did you say, did you say this is your first time with a vegetable? Now you come. Ooh, it's weird looking, isn't it? Huh? It's weird looking, is it? isn't it? In it. I'm going to... Hang on, I've emptied mine out. I'm shaving down the little, you know, the little ridgy things inside. Yeah, I've done that too. Yeah. Yeah. Let me just get rid of that bit. And then once you've done that, you can get rid of it. I have one. empty capsicum. So. Oh no, mine's gone. Mine won't stand up anymore. Oh well. Um, you're gonna carve a little Halloween face. Wah 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 wah. In um. In your pumpkin. Okay. There's no set rule. Just, just do whatever you want. Just a pumpkin. Just a Halloween face. Just a Halloween face. Whatever the mood takes you. This would have been easier before we'd cut the top off. Well, I'm managing okay. I didn't say it was impossible. I said this would have been easier. Wow. Halloween's fun around your house. It's a lot of fun around my house. Do you... Do you do a oh? Do you do a pumpkin? Um, no, because I think it's a bit of a waste. No pumpkin. Um, I do like to make pumpkin flavored food though. But then that that you can get a pumpkin. Uh huh. Have it. Have it. Have it. Have it. Scoop all its insides out. Mm -hmm. Make whatever it is that you make out of it. I'm going to say soup, knowing you. Um and um. <laughs> Um, I don't know why that. I don't know why that was an insult. Right. You know what, Mike? You're very middle class. Soup, you make cat. Soup. Um, <laughs> um, and you can still have the pumpkin. Okay. Um, so I like roasted pumpkin. Which is not where you thought it was going to go there, but you're now going. It's more middle class than I thought you were going to say, Mike. Uh, <laughs> I like uh, roasted pumpkin, so you, you can't make a pumpkin out of it. Okay. There we go. Well, look at you! How speedy are you with the knife? I have knife skills. Um, right, I'm just, I'm just going to do a math. I know. I mean, it goes without saying. You must be very careful when you're doing this. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, obviously you've got a blunt knife, so you're in no, in no danger. Um, but again, a, sh a blunt knife is dangerous. Dark knives are safer. Well, I remember the famous um, '80s. Safety thing. Blunt knives are dangerous. Use a machete instead. No, that's size. That's not sharpness. So the reason why blunt knives are more dangerous is because you have to put more pressure behind them. So you start putting more pressure behind them, you lose a fine motor control. And that's why they're more did dangerous. You, did you notice that then? That, that Did you feel that sensation? My well, love did kick in, yeah. Of the, of the fun being sucked out of the room. <laughs> The only time you've ever had anything sucked out. Of. Health and safety over there. Um, right, so. <laughs> have you got your little flick? Little little face, face. Yeah. Got I've got a little face. Little face. And I did mine a lot quicker. Yeah, but I, I'd like to do it professionally. Um, place your little, place your, place your uh, pepper uh -huh. onto. I've, I've given you a little bit of felt. Okay. It does nothing more than just. Um, Hopefully, we'll suck up the stuff that's going to come out of it's, it. It's just um, um, oh, I felt that. Uh, I felt that. Um, I've provided you. Yeah. Excuse me, just a little itchy nose. Um, with a selection of, of Halloween type decorations that okay. you may you may decorate however you see fit. So we've got, I've got a cockroach, I've got two cockroaches, a bat, and then a cute little gecko. A what? A cute little gecko. A hippo? A gecko. Oh. Deaf old <laughs> I'm going to put one on the lid. Okay. I think I might put that inside it. Okay. I've that before. Right, so, now, what you're going to do is got some fake blood mike okay oh i'm gonna uh -huh. put my lid on for this because then i can because you're gonna take it off again in a minute just liberally apply some fake blood <laughs> 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 
Oh, okay. Ah, it's bleeding. It's quite coagulated, that, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Boop, boop, we do. Depends how bloody you want your thing to be. Okay. Ooh. Right. Oh, right. That's it. Okay. Right, now, take the lid off if you've already got it on. Just put it gently uh -huh. to one side. And I've provided you with some um, fizzy vitamin tablets. Effervescent. 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 Favourite words. Pop them inside your pepper. Okay. And then, because this is where the magic happens. Just, it's gonna, you can't eat this. It's All right, okay. completely for decoration. Um, I've given you a little can, a little teeny can of pop. Yeah. Look at that, it's a little teeny can of pop. And um, we can... Open it. You can do it, open it. And then... Pour it very quickly inside your pepper and then put the lid on. Oh, I didn't think this through! <laughs> I was thinking that, because you've also asked me to cut a hole out of the bottom of mine to make it flat. I've made a terrible mess. <laughs> it frothed very successfully. So Look, what oh, I'm no, Lee! Stop Don't doing. do it again, you <laughs> silly... <laughs> And do you know what? Do you know you what are, the answer to this you is? To give it another go. Always <laughs> practice this shit before you do it. So, Lee, <laughs> what I'm going to do is put mine oh, in a good bowl idea. That you've given me already. Wondered, yeah, how useful is that? Uh, so, yeah, okay, I'll put mine right. in a bowl. Yeah, let's put, them in, let's put it in the lid. Put it in the bowl. Right, and instead of a lid, I'm going to basically use it as a stand to stick it up. Make it oh, like a blood in my hands. Oh, oh bye. Right. right. Okay, now and let's try it. I'm just going to pop a little bit of my fizzy pop in here like that. Oh, is it frothing? Oh, it's all... There you go. It's coming out of its mouth. It is. Like rabies. Fresh. Well done. <laughs> I'm going to pour... <laughs> well, I think you'll find that it was a success after all. Remember, this holiday sees holiday season. Holiday. And it's holiday hol season. Hol <laughs> it's Halloween season. If you can't get any peen or any vagine or anything in between, be a crafty queen. That's almost the end of the show for this week. But on screen now, you can see our contact details. It's at the Cut TV on your social media. And if you want to catch up on previous episodes, you can always binge us on YouTube. Look for Chewing the Cut. Binge us on Chewing the Cut. <laughs> binge us. Too giddy. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye. Happy Halloween. There's Orange Aid. Cherry Aid. Limeade. Limeade. I was going to think about Limeade.